Hello and welcome back to another end of another video. Today we are talking about Winterstorm Izzy, which will be a potentially blockbuster snowstorm in both the plains, the south, as well as maybe even the northeast. Even though this is a very major system, I am breaking this video into two parts because this storm is going to be spanning over the scope of five days. Although I will be talking about the eastern part of the system, we're focusing mostly on the western part. So, let's take a look at this article, Winter Storm Izzy to Spread Snow, Ice from Midwest into South and East into Martin Luther King Weekend. So at a glance, an expansive storm will spread a wintry mess across several regions. This will lead to significant travel impacts in parts of the Midwest, South, and East, and key uncertainties remain in the forecast and to check back with them. But if you want to see a more in-depth forecast for the East, which is what they're talking about here, check back right here. Subscribe, click the bell so you don't miss that video. But the most important thing here, this storm has been named Winter Storm Izzy by the Weather Channel. So, we're going to look at alerts in a second, but let's look at Thursday night into Friday. So, Thursday night, the storm is just going to be starting to peak its way into the country from Canada. The main action starts on Friday, when the heavy snow, moderate to heavy snow, moves from North Dakota all the way down into northern Missouri. Then we move into Saturday, where this storm continues to move into the south. Now we have snow in St. Louis as well as Kansas City, maybe even Louisville. And then Sunday, we start to see the storm kind of move into the south and then start to pivot to the north. And this is where I'm going to stop uh, getting into specifics here. But overall, the south, as well as parts of the Mid-Atlantic, will start to see some snowfall. And then the Weather Channel is predicting, as well as the European, GFS, and the Canadian all predicting a significant snowstorm in the northeast, maybe even up to a foot in some spots, such as Albany, Syracuse, Harrisburg. And the main details that really have to be figured out is this purple, this rain-snow line, this rain-snow mix line, and whether it will include the I-95 corridor. But for the Weather Channel, uh, they are predicting 8 to 12 inches of snow for much of... Uh, Iowa, southwest Minnesota, uh, eastern South Dakota, and parts of North Dakota, as well as into the south, we could see six inches of snow possible in areas north of Memphis, northwest of Nashville, as well as heavy snow in parts of the upper elevations of North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Virginia, the Appalachians regions. And into the Northeast, this is still very vague, so don't take this for 100% truth. Check back, I'm assuming, like, Saturday night, Sunday, I'll have a video out, depending on how things shape up. But a general swath of at least 5 inches, including Pittsburgh, Harrisburg, Williamsport, Binghamton, Buffalo, Syracuse, Albany, Hartford, as well as maybe even Portland, Bangor, Burlington areas like that. So this is more of an inland storm if the current model runs are correct, not a coastal storm. But that is it. So let's move on here to the National Weather Service where we do have winter storm watches in effect for North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, and Missouri. Basically the areas on that previous map of snowfall where you'll be getting those higher amounts. So let's take a look at the European model and look at our timing here. So we start off here with our clipper system starting into the country. This is Thursday night around 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. And then throughout the night, we start to see the heaviest snowfall moving into North Dakota and South Dakota. And then we start to get into uh, Friday morning. This is so Thursday night to Friday morning, we start to see that snow now moving into areas near Fargo and areas such as Lincoln and Omaha, Nebraska. This is right around, let's call it uh, 1 p.m. Eastern. So this is about noon central. So we're starting to see heavier snowfall rates in areas of eastern South Dakota, southwest Minnesota, north northwest Iowa. 
and this continues throughout the day and we start to see this storm uh, dip into the south this is now around 7 a.m. Eastern so 6 a.m. Central Time on Saturday where we're seeing snow in Kansas City as well as snow in Missouri and then we see the storm continue to dip to the south. We have a low pressure here. It's now drawing up that Gulf moisture, retaining that cold air, uh, and moving now into the north. This is going to take a general U shape because of the fact that we have a major trough in the east, which is going to be brought on by a coastal system earlier uh, in the weekend around Friday but a lot of cold air set in place. So we will be seeing snow in areas such as Arkansas, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Georgia. And compared to other storms of this magnitude, this will be very heavy snowfall, not just in total weight, but in terms of rates as well, because this storm is going to be drawing up a lot of Gulf moisture and that cold air is so far south that these two are lining up in almost like a perfect storm situation for some of these areas in the south to be getting six inches and maybe even a foot plus of snow, which is not completely out of the question for January, but we haven't seen that in a very long time. So now we're into Sunday at 7 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Central, and we're seeing that snow in the south. Now, this is where we get into less confidence uh, starting on Sunday, moving into Monday, is what will this system do? Will we see a low pressure that moves out to sea, which is still possible, a low pressure that moves up the coast and could bring the coastal areas of the northeast a major winter storm, maybe even multiple feet of that wet, heavy snow, or what is most likely at the moment, uh, based on current model runs and any mo model guidance that we have, a low pressure that kind of tracks right up the coastline and will give inland areas such as uh, parts of western and upstate New York, Pennsylvania, uh, parts of Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, barely including D.C., uh, Connecticut, Inland Massachusetts, so excluding Boston, uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, and the inland parts of Maine. That's the current guidance, and we're seeing that because of this low pressure here. You can see it's right on the coastline, right around Myrtle Beach, is going to be bringing up, one, that Gulf moisture, which is still in there, as well as Atlantic moisture, and so much of it that it's going to be bringing in heavy snowfall totals, but also a lot of that warm Atlantic air that is bringing up from the south, and we're going to see a rain snow line set up right around the major cities. So let's actually zoom in to the northeast and take a look. So we are right around here. So the northeast will be seeing that rain snow line set up right on the cities. So D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York City all on that rain snow line, even Boston on that rain snow line, and areas inland, such as uh, Connecticut, except for the coast, uh, northwest Rhode Island, inland Massachusetts, as well as upstate New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia, going to be seeing heavy snow totals, but eventually some of those areas, even as far north as southern New Hampshire, will be switching over to rain briefly before the storm ends. That's just because of that strong flow of that more moist but also warmer air flowing into the northeast. That's just how strong this storm is at 982 millibars, which we typically don't see a lot of that. Just in general, this is a very unique storm because it's in the middle of our two types of nor'easters. We have that storm that produces heavy snowfall in the Great Lakes region and into Ohio, parts of western Pennsylvania, but gives no snow to the coast, and that's all rain. Then we have that offshore low that brings plenty of moisture and snow in areas such as Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, D.C. This is right in the middle, so that's why this is so hard to predict. So we continue to see that move out of the region. That is 
moving on even into uh, Tuesday, 1 a.m. Eastern. That's how far we're going out. So here's our snowfall totals. And I'm going to draw a line right about here for this video and then the next video. So, starting off with our clipper system, which is what this is. This is actually an Alberta clipper that's coming down and producing 6 to 7 inches of snow in North Dakota. Not exactly in Fargo, uh, but areas close to Fargo. And then into South Dakota, Southwest Minnesota, Western Iowa, very eastern Nebraska, probably including the Omaha Lincoln area right on the edge there, uh, then into northern Missouri. In terms of Kansas City, about three inches, St. Louis, about four. So those areas will be in that three to six inch range. Uh, but then you have areas such as the Twin Cities, which is in that zero to three inch range. They were in a much stronger area, but the storm has shifted further and further west, which is why they're not seeing as much snowfall. When the storm was going to be going off the coast, they were in this uh, pink area. But now that we've seen the storm shift west, we are seeing that trend. Now, in the south, we could see areas uh, in Arkansas get some snowfall even up to a foot. Uh, and then we also have areas such as Memphis getting 6 to 12 inches. Nashville, also in that 6 to 12 inch range. Atlanta is also, I believe, in that 6 to 12 inch range. Then you have the areas such as the Appalachians getting that foot of snow in North Carolina, as well as Georgia and South Carolina. Then we move into the Northeast, which I'm not going to cover now, but initial readings, I'll just go through. Uh, Pittsburgh is right around that six to two feet range. I'm giving wider ranges here because it's so far out. Uh, DC is right over here in that six to, uh, let's call it the three to 12 inch range. Baltimore is in that three to 12 inch range. Philadelphia in that three to 12 inch range. New York City in that three to 12 inch range. Boston's probably in that three to 12 inch range as well. Albany in that, uh, let's call it six to two feet range. Uh, Buffalo around there as well. So those are just initial readings. We'll get into that later on this weekend. But we are looking at a potentially blockbuster snowstorm, both in the West, because this is a very powerful clipper system. When, when you hear the term clipper, you don't typically think, oh, yeah, I'll get maybe even up to a foot of snow from this. It's usually just a, okay, well, this is just going to be a general three to five, maybe a little bit of a pain in the butt to uh, drive in, but nothing that's going to shut down everything for a day. But this storm definitely can. Uh, it has all of that strength and then dipping so far south to bring in that Gulf moisture, bring in that Atlantic moisture that will just make it so, so strong to the point where we'll see impressive snow totals in the south, which is already a newsmaker. We typically don't see areas such as Nashville getting close to a foot, Memphis getting close to a foot of snow, especially around now uh typically we see like the coldest time of the year uh end of this month into early february that's typically like in my experience when we see those storms so this is a little bit early for that as well as potentially uh, a blockbuster widespread northeast snowstorm so more to come there but that is a lot of information for this storm uh, I kind of covered both buckets, but I hope I uh, covered a lot of the Midwest as well as the South uh, in a little bit of, a little bit more detail than the Northeast because of confidence. But that is all I have for today. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.